this thing. Spell on these folds with this seven inch lip. It's still move though, right? It's still a move though, right? I know, I know that, but I'm just saying like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 40 these big cats. Gotta come get this rear end short and get this stance right. We'll just sit it to the side right here for now since we got to put some gas in it, yeah. Yeah. Shorten this ring. <laughs> to that finish, getting closer to that finish line. Mm. Right. <laughs> Man, you know, with the old school game, it's hard to be in the old school game. Right, good, man. But yeah, we just shorten the rear for him, getting the stance right. What's in that thing? Yeah, 632 board over. I'm about to be a monster. What's up, sir? You said what? What'd you say? I like that car. <laughs> yeah, I like that car. <laughs> did do. Did do. I can't wait to get this dance together because I can see it already. I can see it already. So after we get done, what else you got to do? outside after that. <laughs> Ain't that mother look good. So you like this car? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get it on off the trailer and then we're gonna get it in the building in a minute. Yeah, it's a customer car. Yep, we gotta uh, we gotta run to go get some gas, some race gas or something. So I'm about to get him this can to be able to put it in the building. Cause I can't put it in the building right now. Cause I gotta put some gas in this mug. That's it.
Yeah, man, just getting this Chevelle in the air. Took a little something to get this mug in the building. I don't know if y'all was paying attention in the video. Had to, because it was sitting so low in the front because the entire suspension got to be done as far as like height, adjustment, stuff like that. Shortening the rear end, making sure everything flush for the front to turn without, you know, grabbing the fenders and stuff like that. And uh, when we was bringing it in, the car was sitting so low, like somebody just got the coilovers like max to the lowest, like on the threads of the last threads or something. And um, it was grabbing the fenders, so we had to play with the mug just to get in in the shop. I had to like pull the fenders a little bit just to turn the mug just to get it in the shop. But we got it in. It wasn't that hard. Had a little help. So now we got it in the air. About to go ahead and measure these measurements I need to tuck these wheels. And uh, yeah, man, get this rear end out of here. <clears throat> 24 inch 4G Auto Big Caps Rose Gold. Bought from Special Vehicles. Seven inch lips, matching steering wheel. You know what I'm saying? So, gotta, you know, we sell rims and we put them on the right way. So, about to get to shortening this rear end. Well, taking it off first. Seeing what we got going on. And then we just go from there, man. Special vehicles. 72 Chevelle Tino. I don't know if y'all remember this car, man. This car was, I think he brought this mug out, what's that, 2012? 2011 something this car been around for a minute but he's just bringing this mug back out a lot of the og cars from back in the day hitting the streets again and this one um still got his ways to go still got to do what he got to do for everything else get his interior put in uh music all that other stuff he still got to do but right now we're just trying to get this suspension right try to get him in and out but this mug don't be here for no long time you know what I'm saying? For, for my guys that like big blocks, you know what I'm saying? Got this big block in this thing. Freaking 638. That's what he say it is. And I believe it. This mug big. Ain't no exhaust on here. But this mug was extra super loud when we were bringing this car in here. There we go. What size that car is, y'all? Nobody tell me what size that is. That's the big cereal bowl. Fruity pebbles. You know what I'm saying? Some nice stuff, some nice gadgets up in here. Nice engine bay painted under the hood. That's hard. Having a hood under the hood painted that color. And then it's on the outside with the white. That's raw. Got the hinges, all that stuff. Like I say, man, the man's still in the building phase though, so. Patience is a virtue. Like I say, you know what I'm saying? We just about to shorten the rear end of this thing, man. So I'm about to get to it. Get her done. You hear me? No time for losers. We are the champions of the world. Anyway. Got just took the wheels off. Ain't nothing major. Just took the wheels off. Uh, see, I see them pretty wheel woods up under that thing with them brakes, the rotors. Uh, see? Boom. Boom. Got my measurements. About to take this rear end out tomorrow. Man, it is what it is. We're going to get there. Got my measurements. It's time to move to the next part of this adventure. And that's that. Yeah, man, you know, you got this frame powder coated on this joint. So what I do, I just took two pair of gloves and just doubled it on both sides. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm scratching the paint up on the frizzing, you know, there's two gloves. That'll work. So sometimes one glove, it'll be too thin and all that weight, it just bust through the threads. So just put two gloves on there just so I don't be messing up nothing. And then shoot, we're going to be back at it. In the morning, I'm gonna go ahead and take that mug out, get the chopping screwing.
Oh. And you got this rear end up out of here. Took all the brackets off, brakes, rotors, stuff like that. And uh, got it all bust down, put the unit out the middle. Sitting over here. Now it's time to get to shortening this thing. Make sure these tubes straight. Gonna do that first. I'm gonna take these brackets off because it's getting shortened. That means these brackets gotta get moved over too. Considering how, where they at already. So gotta break that stuff down, bust that down, put them back in the respective spots. But we here, man. Smug is naked. And now it's time to go ahead and get the cutting. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Get the cutting, fabricate, make sure these tubes straight, line everything back up, weld everything back, put the brackets back in the right spots, put everything, put the assembly back together, put the mud back in the car. You know what I'm saying? So we can make these good old seven inch lip fit. You know what I'm saying? Forgiato rose gold bit caps. You know what I'm saying? So, gotta make sure all that stuff go in the right way. That's pretty much that, so. Just wanted y'all to see it all bust down. I took this mug out or whatever. Yeah, man, you need our services, man. Come holler at your boy. You know what I'm saying? On to the next level of this, man. But you need any type of services, man. Lifts, suspension, you looking for some rims. Shorten the rear end, notch your frames, tires. Like I said, digital dashes, whatever, man. Just holler at us. Even, you know, just if you got any questions, man, just call us, man. Holler at the legend. <laughs>
squatting, stuff like that. But it's a lot of people that don't know, or it's a lot of areas that just don't do this type of work. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of cars, and y'all be still seeing them sitting up where they got Chevelles or G bodies. Uh, even, I don't even seen box Chevys on sixes, eights, thirties sticking out because they got adapters on nobody know, know how to drill rims or short rear ends uh you know what i'm saying the offset don't be built for the car but they bought the rims off the street for the cars that they wanted and can't get the mud to sit how they want them to sit it's it's, it's it's like going back to school all over again man it's math and science you gotta know what to do you know start bringing out the geometry the rulers and all that type of stuff again. Stuff that in school that we was playing with, we was doing it all over again. But anyway, just to say, you know, man, this stuff could be done in any car. You just gotta get it to the right people. And just because your area don't have these abilities or services, don't mean you can't get it. Cause sometimes you'd be paying for it and you be paying twice or three times or paying for it once and don't get what you're looking for or don't even know what you got. See, like this side. See, this side touching right now. I ain't do nothing but let the car down. But try to get that stuff together for me, man, so this mug can sit right. Because you see, the caliber is at the bottom now. The caliber was on the back side when he brought it in. But just to keep clearance all the way clear and without having to worry about none of that or having to think about it, just go ahead and I just moved it to the bottom. I didn't want to have it to where, you know, it hit a nice enough bump and you hear something, doom, doom, doom. You ain't even got to worry about it. It's done, taken care of. And that's that, man. Some dirt. But yeah, man, I'm just go ahead. And I ain't show all the rest of the other video, the other parts as far as um, when I shorten the rear end and put it back in the car and all that stuff, man, I was just working. It's a busy week. We just working, man. That's it. I would have did detail for detail, step for step. But it just was one of them weeks, one of them times, like, man, just grinding, getting it out the way. Got a lot of cars on this list. We got to get these mugs in and out so some stuff be getting cut. Not on purpose, it's just, man, as you know how life be. So, yeah, man, next video. We'll be back with the next clip. Getting this stance and this front together before I really do the back. Because I want to get this front at a respectable stance and, and make sure it's clear in that front fender, like as you see on that front uh, driver's side. That's how it was getting this mug in this building, having a flare the fender just to get the mug in here but I'm trying to try to get it together try to not cut nothing at all but you know just get to get the stance right so it is what it is and off to the next we go back in this other spot right quick. I'm still priming. Twenty foes, rose gold. For the autos.
definitely need some exhaust. Yeah, Lee. <laughs> need the need the air pilot uh the aircraft uh earmuffs on. Yeah, Lee. Comes with aircraft earmuffs. Right. I must. That stuff sounded crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, Mark started up the nigga with the Mark because I was I was scared. Mm -hmm. I said, look, you know, I ain't about to start this motherfucker, man. Man, go ahead and just did. Mm. Mark came down here, I was sitting around, and that bitch started up. I was somewhere on the other side, and I was like, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's the ridiculously Mark loud. Mark just dropped out, man. Man, that's yeah, the that too freaking loud. loud yeah, man, big blocky and... Yeah, that stuff sound crazy. I don't know if that's loud. I like big blocks, but I definitely need exhaust. <laughs> right, right. That stuff sound crazy. But, but yeah, man, we done with this thing for the most part. Suspension right, sitting good, tucking, squatting. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta do our pullout video. Get the um, get that mud pulling out. That's it. But I'm gonna pull it out with the caps on. So whenever you bring them caps, that's gonna be that. And that's it for real. So. This mother gonna sit right here till it's time to put them caps on, man. Yes, sir. Holla at the legend. Yeah. yeah, man. Gotta pull this thing on out. I know this thing need to exhaust. I gotta make sure I put them hood pins back on, too. This thing is loud. Aircraft carrier Chevelle. I'm about to pull this thing on out right quick. <clears throat> Got him all the way together on that. That look good too. That look good. Gold 7-inch lip. Rose gold. Big cap 40s. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, just wanna let y'all know, man. Appreciate y'all, man, for supporting me. Liking, should share. Liking, sharing, and subscribing. Just hit 10K today. Well, this morning. Late last night, early this morning, whatever, just hit 10,000 subscribers, man. So appreciate y'all. And a good way to set it off, bring something like this out the building. It's still a neutral, too, just to let you know, but it got that push button on there, so. Okay. That mother looking crazy coming up out of there, didn't it? <laughs> That Man, I wanted to with that mud so loud, freaking space aircraft. <laughs> like Man, what? I know when you put the exhaust on, though, it's gonna be way, way better, though. When you put that exhaust on. Oh, okay. Heck yeah. That's a good way to set it off. I just hit 10,000 subscribers this morning. Good way to set it off. Heck yeah. So now I was about to go get the interior did. And um, shoot, I think that's it. Did you hit this mug yet though? Have you ever hit it? 
Oh, oh yeah, you couldn't have hit it. You couldn't have hit it because of the short in the rear end. Yeah, and I got no <laughs> Right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, man, this mud looking sweet. Oh, yeah, for sure. Mm hmm. I get in it. I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> flat out. I ain't Outside with it. The one I was with? No, uh uh. Mm -mm. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be. I sold mine to some dude at the auction I be messing with. But I'm gonna give me another one. I want an 18 footer one just in case I gotta carry something big. That's the only reason why I sold the one I had. I had a 16, but a 16 cool though. So I'm gonna just grab me another one. But that was G trailer I was using. Good, good looking on the, the trailer too, uh, yesterday, G. Unlimited automotive. Need me to steer the steering wheel or it's cool? Huh? Need me to steer the steering wheel or, you, or it's cool? It's going straight, it's pretty straightforward. Right Alright. We got the white on white, the Escalade and the Seville. <laughs> that mug got some pearl in it too. It. But no, this one got a little red in it. That one got like diamond. You said it's in neutral? Huh? You said it's in neutral? Yeah, it's in neutral. Woo! Yeah, watch that back lip come in that sunlight. Yeah, if you want to, you can hop in the stairs. I'll just grab it. I'll just grab it. Hold on. Watch that. Watch that back lip get that sunlight. Or crazy. I'll come to the right. I got, I got your quarter right here. You said the back lip?
he uh, on his way. He woke up late. I'm like, I beat you down here. I'm usually the one late. You say what? So what all you got left to do? Mm-hmm. You got us the music hooked up to? All right. Right. I just got to put the 10 panels, got to put my 10 panels in, put the door panels. Little small, little stuff. Yeah. What you got, a 212, 215? 215. Mm-hmm. What kind? Uh, Godfather. Oh, yeah. That mother's the truth. 8K. Oh, yeah. For sure. Trying to catch the side where the sun is, that's why I keep coming back to the driver's side. Yeah, I put it in park. The key in the ignition. Yep. Mm -hmm. I guess he wants you to pull up a little bit so he can come around you. Oh, oh, you following him? He said he following you. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, man. See that pearl hitting on that thing? Special vehicles, man. Come holla at us. We doing whatever on the suspension side. Whatever rims you want. Whatever. You got some questions, you can call. 